Good morning everyone! So right now I'm on Shikoku Island and I'm going to be going around for two days. Let's get started. I have to eat breakfast, my hair's still wet. This is the reality of a business trip. Um, mornings are not my thing, so gotta get going. Alright, let's go! I work in the inbound tourism industry and our job is to help local governments promote their destinations. We usually go to popular tourist spots but super excited because this time we're going to this tiny remote Japanese island called Teshima on Shikoku Island. It took seven hours to get there with a train, another train, a ferry, and a drive to get there. We've arrived at Teshima Island! Boop, 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 boop. Boo. And today I'm here with Kanako. Hi, I'm Kanako. Yeah, we work together at Tokyo Creative and we've been on so many business trips together. Mm-hmm. How many? Too many to yeah. count. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna take you along and show you what it's like. And it's basically us just having a good time traveling. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look like work, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> we just finished the introductory to everyone on this trip. There's a really big group this time. It's like over 10 people. When you go on a business trip in Japan, you always get like printed documents. I have so many sheets here, like Japan loves paper <laughs> and it's all in Japanese, but I'm gonna do my best to understand it. The schedule isn't too packed. We're gonna do some like Activities on the island, eat some food, basically have a good time. Most of the time, when even when we're on the plane, the train, the bus, someone from TC is always on their laptop or their phone working. The hard thing about business trips is that you're out of the office, so you don't get to do your normal, for us, 10 to 7 work, and it just still is there. It's still there when you get home, when you get to the hotel. So even last night when I got to the hotel, like I had to work till like 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. So that's one of the tough things about business trips that a lot of people don't really understand. We're constantly always trying to catch up with stuff. But it is a lot of fun and I love that we get to go see all these amazing places in Japan. Come to a local restaurant on the island of Teshima and we've got some white fish, we have some veggies. They're all local, I believe, and some rice. Usually I don't eat seafood, but they've made it in a Western style with like a white sauce. So I've been enjoying it so far. We're gonna eat. <coughs> Some fish and fish and fish. Fish and fish. I thought you were gonna say fish and chips because <laughs> usually you only say fish and with chips. When you're on a Japanese fam trip, which is essentially the local government paying for you to go to places, you have to visit a lot of locations in one day and you don't have a lot of time to enjoy every single spot. So it's a lot of quick, quick, go here, film, go, go, go. So it is kind of intense and tiring. Luckily for us, this trip is a little easier going than usual. We're actually getting to enjoy each location. Japanese business trips overall, I've had a really great experience because I get to do tourism. So I actually go to cool locations and I get to show them for work. It's not the most most typical business trip but this is my industry which is inbound tourism. You might be wondering why we're just looking around sightseeing and having a good time. Well part of our job is actually to provide feedback from a foreign perspective about the destinations and activities Teshima has to offer in order for them to improve for future visitors. Next on the itinerary is checking out local homestay locations. Behind me is this really nice traditional house that's run by this like obachan Japanese like grandma and she is so friendly and cute. And Kanako and I were like, yeah, that's our vibe. Mm, mm, mm. And they had tatami. Yeah. Futon. Obachan. Vibes. Yeah. Obachan. <laughs> the next activity we're doing is veggie picking and I'm gonna pull out a daikon. I already pulled out a cabbage, but this looks way harder. So this is a Japanese radish. <laughs> it's so yeah. hard! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I deserve to eat that now. We both pulled out our daikon successfully. Yeah. Is you it better, hard? Yeah, you, it was. Like, I thought like I'm gonna eat any kind of koshi like. Your back hurts. <laughs> you had good reaction though. Thank you. <laughs> so, are we eating these? Yeah, I guess so. It's gonna be the dinner or breakfast. You know, yeah. so it's very like farm stay. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm also very kininado about that daikon's body. Look at this, he's got like a leg. Yeah. Sexy daikon, John. Hey, Sarah Chan. Oh my god, it smells so good. That smells good, smell that. Ugh. Green oh, onion. Is. Makes me crave udon. taking the first look at where we're staying at tonight and it's so beautiful, it's really well done up. We've got the tatami, traditional sliding doors. If you walk around, you've got a view literally everywhere you look. Look out the window, you've got the view. And then here we have the 
living space where you can kind of have a cup of tea and enjoy the Japanese design of the room. And then if we keep coming down here, oh, we have the bedroom. Wow, this is beautiful. Just found out that the main living kind of space is also going to be our bedroom. Kanako and I will sleep here. We'll put our futons out and then we'll wake up here, have brekkie on the kind of terrace. We lucked out so much. Hey, I'm here with Alan. How are you going? Fellow Aussie, you run this lodge. We certainly do. Yeah, yeah. Villa. We started the construction about two and a half years yeah. ago, three years, yeah. I'm glad I'm going to stay here tonight. Yeah, you will enjoy I'm it. excited. And you have goats. <laughs> uh, goats, yeah, but... So I've learned that the stone kind of like carvings with the rake is called Zen. I guess it does have that Zen feeling to it. There's no specific way you can do it. You make it as you please, basically. And Alan did it all by himself. That's the tool. Wood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it was here when I came here. Oh, that's why you did it. Not really. But <laughs> it would actually help me stop me. I didn't have to make it, so it's good. <laughs> you just got to put enough pressure on it. Yeah. So, and drag the sand to get your impression that you, you require. Should I go this way? Whatever you want. Try Zen for the first time and I feel extra Zen now. Extra zen. <laughs> it's definitely difficult because as Alan was telling us, you have to think about where you step and the design you're doing because once you step in the sand then it kind of ruins it. So if you have extra long arms for a good reach or you can think three steps ahead, you'd probably be very good at this. Apparently there's wild boars. Just a few. Big one uh, this morning. Is it? Just kind of got scared. 80 kilos! We are now preparing dinner and I chopped a lot of cabbage. It's gonna be nabe. It's a bit chilly today, so nabe is the perfect Japanese dish to warm up. And it's very fresh veggies. Everything looks so good. It's 9 p.m. I just got out of the bath, washed my hair, and I'm gonna write a few more messages on Slack, a few more emails to catch up on stuff. But that was pretty much the entire day. I can't wait to go to sleep on my lovely futon, Oyasumi. Good morning, I was tired so I did not film, but we learned about the history of Teshima. There used to be a garbage issue and then we went back to brief and met up with everyone. We have officially finished everything we had to do on the tour and we just discussed all of our ideas of what was good about this trip, what can we do in the future to bring more people to Teshima Island. It was a really successful trip overall. I believe that the island has so much potential to bring lots of people in. There's so many cool art exhibitions around here. There's also good food, good local culture and just that remote Japanese island experience. I don't think you can beat that. That was pretty much a day in my business trip. Well, it was two days. Every single time I'm on a business trip, it's quite different, but this was an example of one of them. It's kind of a dream that I get to go around Japan and kind of share that love for Japanese culture with the world and try and improve it for people who are coming here. What did you guys think of Teshima? Let me know down below and I am going to go back to Tokyo now. It is 3.30. I'm going to get home at 11.30 p.m. It's a long journey. Shinkansen train, buses. So better get going. I'll see you guys in another business trip or back in Tokyo. Bye.